Hi guys, Air Hunter here. Hope you've all had a wonderful Christmas. It's midweek now, up to new, running up to New Year, and um, I've got a spare two or three hours, so I've come out. Been sat here since it was dark, and um, yeah, managed to get a couple of squirrels. Um, I ain't got much more time than that, but one shot's in the dark, one shot in the daylight, and um, I've never actually tasted squirrel before, ever. I usually give them to my friend who feeds his Harris hawk with it. So today I'm going to barbecue some squirrel. I'm going to try it just as it is on the barbecue, just to see what it tastes like. And then the second piece I'm going to glaze with some honey, just to see if it tastes any better. Hopefully it's nice, and hopefully I don't end up with diarrhea or whatever, throwing up or something. Um, but it's going to be interesting. I'm going to cook it. I'm going to show you me um, skin it, cook it and eat it and I'll tell you what it tastes like so um, yeah wish me luck but we better go retrieve these um, we better go retrieve these two squirrels because they're down here somewhere <laughs> one next at feeder and uh, one just went off to the side did a bit of twitching and went off to the side but I've been sat in my hide that's why I'm not in camo and uh, well you don't need camo you don't need camo if you're in a camouflaged hide here so to be careful going down here it's wet guys it's downhill, so if I go tumbling, it's on you guys to try to entertain you. <laughs> so the, the hide to the feeder is exactly 23 yards. I put the range finder on it, it's exactly 23 yards. I'll just pan it round. So there's my first one, or second rather. This is the one by the feeder, this is the, um, the one in the daylight that I shot. And then there should be one down here somewhere guys. He wriggled off somewhere. Ah, there he is. He wriggled off just to here. There we go. We'll pick him up in a second. Yeah. We're a good shot. Ah, there he is. Yep. Yeah, great shot. I'm getting him now. I'm picking him up now before he goes <laughs> before he goes stiff, so he should be easier to skin. So Stay tuned, and um, I'll put record back on once I um, once I get everything set up, guys. Down he goes. I couldn't wait for him any longer. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to take my hunting knife and do what's called the tailbone um, skinning, I think, or tailbone field dress. First time doing it, so it might be a bit fiddly. Let's see how I get on. So apparently, take the tail, get it right back there, cut here. But you're not supposed to cut all the way through the tailbone. Keep the skin on. So I'm going to cut there. But I want to keep the skin at the back. There we go. And then what we want to do is cut down around the back of the legs here so we've got a nice flat. Same this side. I want to try and get a nice big flap at the back here, so I'm going to keep cutting back. Again, it's the first time I've done it. First time I've seen it done. I'm going to cut around the top of the back of the legs, like so. Take a bit more flap. And then we're supposed to stand on this flat and pull him up by the back legs, which is what I'm going to do now. Let's move this so you can see. 
So apparently we stand on here. Have the back legs. Get that little flap just under his under your boot. And then lift him up. But he's slippy. So it's wet. I'm actually struggling here guys, so might just be where I've got him. Let's try again. There we go. Almost. There we go. As you can see, he's almost skinned. Yeah. Move the camera back onto here. Finish him off. Pull his arms out like so. And then we're going to do the, this bit here. Like I say, guys, first time, so there'll be a lot more experts out there, but. I'm just doing what I've seen. I'll flip him over. So let's get that left off. A bit slippy guys, a bit messy. I'm not too worried about the back legs because there's not a lot on them so I'm gonna take him off here. At the back leg. Again I'm only I don't plan on <laughs> Eating squirrel regular, but I would like to know what it tastes like. There we go, put them to one side. Get rid of the guts in a minute. Get his head. I'm just being careful, it's a sharp knife guys, so I'm just being careful not to cut myself. So I'm just taking him off at the wrist. And now I'm going to gut him. So I'm going to go down here. Let's check. Yeah. Down here from top at neck. I want to be careful not to go all the way through. Slice his belly open. His guts, grab him by the esophagus. Yep, there we go. Stinks a bit too. <laughs> grab all his guts, clean him out. 
it's a bit slippy and slimy guys if you haven't done it before then it is a bit slippy and slimy So we've got him all clean inside. Don't want any guts left in there. Again, I don't plan on eating him all. I just want to know what he tastes like. I'm sure he tastes better to an Irish hawk than he will to me. So, yeah. Let's get him cleaned out. I think that's pretty much him. It's slippy. Yeah. I think that's it, guys. I think that's pretty much it. We'll get him on barbecue. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to cut it clean in half because I want to cook one. With just as it is, I want them to glaze the other one in honey. So I'm going to cut him just out my layer. So we've got two pieces. And then we can see exactly what it tastes like. I'm going to cover the bottom half of honey. And this and I'm just going to cook as it is and see how we get on. Join me in a minute. Okay guys, so I believe it's ready, <laughs> but we'll see. This is the honey glazed one, and this is the one just as it is on its own. Now obviously, it's um, it's barbecued, so it will be a little bit overdone, um, but I want to make sure it's cooked right. The last thing I need is to be poorly. I'm back at work next week, so that, that's the last thing I need. I'm going to, I'll try the plain one first. Um, just simply because I want to, I don't want to spoil it with that honey tasted one. So at least if I, if I don't have that honey in my mouth already, and that taste already slushing around, it won't spoil the, the, the um, experience, so to speak. So when I've got cut a piece off the um, soul natural one, if you like, and um, let's see how, see what it's like. Cut a piece now with a knife. Hmm. Okay, so there's the first piece. Pretty much done through, so. Hmm. Chewy. But then I suppose that's bit to be expected by barbecue. Don't really taste it much. Okay, let's have another go. Let's have a cut a bit more off. It's a strange flavour, it doesn't really taste. Maybe a bit earthy. Yeah, maybe earthy. 
Doesn't really taste of anything special. This is my breakfast, by the way, so I'm going to have to keep cutting it and have a bit more and see what we think, but... Another piece here. See, it's cooked through. Certainly on the edge anyway, I don't think I'm going to delve deep into it because it's just been on a throwaway barbecue block. Mmm. Yeah. It's survival food. <laughs> that's what it is. If there was nothing else on the planet, I think that's what you didn't do. If you caught that, you'd eat it, you'd be starving. But as it is on its own, you're not missing out much, guys. Not at all. Obviously, it's not cut through there, so I'm just taking it off the edge. Um, that's the thing with throwaway barbecues. You take a long time to cook through, so I'm literally just cutting off the edge on that one. This one was a bit more difficult to cook. Um, yeah. We don't want it raw. But I don't really... A bit chewy, but then it's barbecued, so... Unless anybody knows any other recipes, let's move on to the honey. I think we'll leave that one for the birds. Let's leave that for the birds. This is the honey glaze one. You can see it's got a bit of a shine on it. You can see I've cut my finger. No, I haven't. It's a bit of, bit of juice is what it is. Have we got a white? I thought I'd cut my finger then. Right, okay. Let's move on to this one then. Yep. See what this is like. We'll cut a bit off. Still chewy, but with a bit of honey on it. I imagine, because I didn't have any barbecue sauce, I imagine barbecue sauce will spice it right up um, and make it look a lot, a lot nicer. Make it taste a lot nicer, rather. Hmm. That's definitely better with honey. I better not end up with a bloody touch of Gandhi's revenge. The two bob bits, as we say in the UK. The squits. But, definitely with honey on. As you can see, I'm putting it in a bit faster and... That means I'm enjoying it slightly more. But, I'm definitely going to have to test it with some barbecue sauce. I mean, it is chewy. And like I said, the, the one without any honey on was a bit earthy. Hmm. Like I say, this is first time trying it, so I've not really researched any recipes or anything. I'm just cook it, catching it, cooking it, and just seeing how we get on with that bit of honey on it. And I've been up since six o'clock, and I've had a biscuit and half a cup of tea in that time, so it's almost welcomed. Do I recommend it? Mm. Yeah, no, it's um, it's worth trying. I guess you could do some something really special with it. I guess you could do something good, um, with a, a decent recipe and stuff. But a standard, I think it's a survival food. Um, I think if you were starving, like I said before, you would you would bloody well eat it. Um, but it's nicer with honey. So I think next time, it's chewy, but I think next time it'll be with barbecue sauce. Because it just needs, it just needs a lot more flavour. Just a lot more. I wanted to try it with honey because I thought it might just make it, that I thought, if you put the barbecue sauce on, then immediately you taste barbecue sauce. What I wanted to do is taste the squirrel first, see what that tastes like, and then just put a hint of sweet on it. With, with the honey just so you're still getting that squirrel taste but with a hint of something sweet on top of it 
I mean, it's definitely better with honey. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Not to write home about. But it's a learning curve, isn't it? And I'm still eating it. I'm still shoving it down my throat. And maybe I'm just a greedy bastard, I don't know. Yeah. But it's not it's not brilliant, it's not awful. I've tasted worse things. The missus has cooked worse things. Shh. Don't tell her. No, she is a good cook. But just every now and again she um she creates a monstrosity of a dish. But fair play to her, she can take it on the chin. Um Yeah. So Right in, I think, on Friday night at uh, permission, and hopefully, I always say hopefully, we can get a, um, a few rats um, on Friday night for you guys. And maybe a couple of feral pigeons at the same time. Um, yeah, maybe a couple of feral pigeons and hopefully get a load of rats. Farmer rung me up the other day and just said there were a lot knocking about, so we'll we shall see. Um, time will tell. Anyway, guys, that's me for today. Um, I just wanted to get one out midweek for you before New Year. Um, hope you all have a really, really happy New Year, and uh, hope it all bring hope it brings you. If it's if it hasn't already, I hope it brings you a better year. Lots of bloody luck, and you loads of bloody money. Um, lots of holidays, but more important than that, I hope you all are healthy, and family are healthy. That's the main thing. Um, yeah, peace out, guys.